Hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. If you haven't seen the title or read the thumbnail, we are continuing on into Firefly with episodes seven and eight. I am so excited. I am loving this series so much, which I know I gotta give credit where credit is due. Y'all told me I was gonna love it, and wouldn't you know it if I do. Okay, so we got a lot of things going on. We got many little love triangles, right? Well, not even love triangles. We got, we got tension on the ship. We got Kaylee and Simon, the doctor. They are flirting and then inevitably Simon says something haphazardly. Kaylee takes it personally and the whole rest of the episode, she's a baby about it. And then we got Inara and Captain Malcolm. They were a thing in the past. Now, I don't know if he was, you know, a client of hers or if they were actually in a full-blown relationship, but there's tension now. We had a bad deal go down with some cows. I still don't really know what exactly is going on with River. Um, you know, I know she's the whole plot of the story, right? But I gotta be honest with you, I'm kind of balls deep in the relationship aspects. I love uh, the pilot, Wash, and his wife, Zoe, a badass woman and a very, like, timid, introverted man. I love it. Anyways, uh, so I guess we just keep going. We just keep floating into space. Yeah, okay, I don't know. I'm excited. No more Diddle Dally. Let's get right on into episode seven and eight of Firefly. A ship would bring you work. A, a gun, gun would help, help you keep it. Come on, admit it, it's true. No, I won't. I love them. I use swear words like anybody else. Do you? And the whole point of swearing is that it ain't appropriate. I am Kaylee, and Kaylee is me. Don't let Mal get you into too much trouble while I'm gone. Fine, Al. Have good sex. <laughs> I mean, what else do you say? Jane, what are you doing? Making a mess. Now this would be a perfect time for a swear word. Yeah. You're like a trained ape without the training. <laughs> I told you we're setting down at the Canton factory settlement on Higgins Moon. Yep, that you did. What is he taping up? That's why I ain't strapping one to my hip. No, that's why you ain't strapping one anywhere. He's literally taping the guns to his body. Enemies? You? No. <laughs> <laughs> why are you still arguing what's been decided? Ooh, that I need to remember that. Why are you still arguing what's been decided? What? Have good sex. What is I don't want to know, actually, never mind. We go in, make contact, easy peasy. So it's not gonna be easy peasy, is it? Cam, don't you think Simon should come with us? What? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I I don't know. River Go on. I'm a shepherd after all. I don't know, River can cause a lot of problems that even Simon can't keep up with. You might maybe make yourself useful. Come again? <laughs> you goofy looking dude. I mean, the pretty fits. Soft hands, definitely a moneyed individual. <laughs> Not the soft hands. He's the boss now. Day keeps getting better and better. Not me secretly hoping something happens to Jane. I just don't like him. Yeah, that looks like that smells good. Yes, I, I'm looking to buy some mud. Ah, and you are very believable. We pay them next to nothing. That way we can pass the savings directly onto you, the customer. Oh, well that doesn't sound good. As I said before, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna be needing quite a bit of it. Also, Jane, what did you do on a planet that just makes mud? To make enemies here? Who is this diabolical master of disguise? He's learning. He's working on it. Look at the operation, then you can figure on whether we get an account here. Yes? Yes, absolutely. As the boss, I do make these decisions. Wow, Jane, you really pissed these people off. And I can't wait to find out how you did it. Son of a bitch. <gasps> he swore. He swore. Firefly. 
take my land, take me where I cannot stand. Take me out. I started that. singing it to help Hubbin line it up with editing, and now I kind of like the song, damn it. It grew on me. You can't take the sky from me. Tell me how come there's a statue of you here looking at me like I own something? <laughs> Jane, you want to tell me? I got no rotten idea. That's a lie, Jane. What did you do? But they don't put you on a pedestal in town square for that. You stole stuff. This must be what going mad feels like. I think they captured him, though, you know. It does look like him. He looks sort of angry, don't he? He does in real life, too. This year's a spectacle might warrant a moment's consideration. See if you can buy it, put it on the ship. His eyes keep following me. <laughs> I crossed the magistrate of this company town. Understand? Well, that's not really something you forgive. But I only make the people I own use my title. Okay, weird thing to say out loud. I'm refreshed and ready. Shall we begin at, say, 7.30? Refreshed and ready to begin what, girl? Every problem, Mr. Higgins, is an opportunity in disguise. Okay, well, that's a live viable quote. Every problem is an opportunity in disguise. What are we up to, sweetheart? Fixing your Bible. Fixing it? Doesn't make sense. No, no, you, you, you can't. Oh, girl, you better not. Eleven inherent metaphoric parallels already there. She really be ripping out pages and everything. Only way to fit 5,000 species of mammal in the same boat. She really, oh, well, <laughs> gee willikers. You don't fix faith, River. It fixes you. Amen. Glory be to God. You hang on to those then. I mean, honestly, if it keeps her busy and out of trouble, let her rip up the Bible. She'd be causing too many issues when she's off the ship. Can't be a statue of me. No reason for it. All right, Mr. Mudman, bring it home. They call it mother's milk. Mother's milk. You know that shit thick. Get. Oh, you've been found out, Jane. What kind of pick was that? The kind where they hacked off his hands and feet with a machete. Yep, yeah, that's some trouble. Mm -hmm. I advise we all just lay low for a moment. Well, we're not really good at just laying low, friend. Jane, the man they call Jane. Jane gets a whole song? Stood up to the man and he gave him what for. You better take it back. He's a hero here. Get out. Jane. This is going to go straight to his head and we don't, uh, Jane doesn't need an ego boost. He said, uh, can't crush that Jane? Uh-huh. You got any light you'd like to shed on this development? <laughs> the man they call Jane. The man they call Jane. I did not expect this. Had to dump them strong boxes. Stay airborne. So he dumped the money in order to stay airborne? Is that what happened? And I drop it right square in the middle of Mud Farmer Central. But look, now you're revered as like a hero to them. So that's kind of cool. Well, that just took a really unexpected turn, didn't it? Preacher, what the hell did you sick? Whoa. What? He's like a like a little bit Tanner Albert Einstein. It's what? Ain't no reason to holler. Oh my god, the kid told everyone. So how's that laying low thing working for us? Don't you understand? He's come back! Nope, nope, stop talking about it. Hero of Canton won't be drinking that Sung Man, yeah. He drinks the best whiskey in the house! Yeah, he does! <laughs> else you could drink that alcoholic mud slop jane gets the good stuff i'm intrigued about this because they want us to believe that she was hired for some sexy time but i bet it's something else this shuttle is a place of union i'm sure you can appreciate what is this what he straight up interrupted you girl brought you here to bed my son not throw him a tea party sir he hired you to have sex with your son as i said this room is a consecrated place of union yeah, so get on. Go on, get. Listen here, young lady. Good night, Mr. Higgins. Okay, and if he hasn't had sex, then what makes you think he wants to lose it to a companion? To Jane! To Jane! Say, he didn't need this. He didn't need this kind of big-headedness. I've saved lives. <laughs> Dozens. 
so I'm in a little tipsy. I retached a girl's leg. She named her hamster after me. That's nice. He drops a box of money. He gets to town. Hamsters is nice. That's what I was thinking. You are pretty funny. And you're pretty. 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 Ah, I'm so excited for this. Especially when you're covered in engine grease. Stop, stop, stop. It's cute. Things are going so well. I suppose. Things are going well. Things are going well. Oh. Well, things here are going well. I think they can barely keep their eyes on each other because they both a little tipsy tip. Too much hair. Is I cannot stand River. I love his hair. I think it's fun. He's putting the hair away now. Doesn't matter. He'll still be there. He's had this much hair the entire time, you weirdo. Mal, Bernoulli's chomping at the bit. Says he wants his merchandise yesterday. You won't believe it, Zoe. You've been drinking, husband. That he has. Don't make it any less the case. <laughs> Jane Day celebration in town square tomorrow. <laughs> what? No. Please. This whole thing, uh, it, it is embarrassing. No, don't be embarrassed. It's simply one state of being. Good for you, Inara. If your father had asked me to come here for him, I wouldn't have. Oh, good for you, girl. But you're different from him. Oh, so she knew the whole time it was for the son. But the workers resisted. Fought the law, huh? Jane, you better be careful, because you're about to get trapped by a baby. I see it on that lady's face. You guys had a riot? On account of me? We have got to get him off this planet. My son's out there. I pray to God losing his cherry. <laughs> Jane Cobb's come back. So once again, that whole laying low thing is not really working out for us. What is it? I'm scared. What do you want with me? Nothing. There's a person in there? Oh, you are missing an eyeball. I'm not the one who partnered up with you and then turned on you when his plan went south. Oh! Cost you four years of your life, plus a perfectly good eyeball. <laughs> Sorry, not funny. Of course Jane ditched somebody. That's such a Jane move. Oh, oh, they're big cuddling. Hey, Captain. Captain. In. They big cuddling on each other at the bar. No, I would never. Not with Kaylee. Uh-huh. See, what I tell you in the intro? He says something that she takes personally. Well, I guess that was kind of personal, wasn't it? Eggs. The living legend needs eggs. Jane is what a hundred percent have a, gonna have a hell of a hangover. It's about the time for a civilized person to have his breakfast. That's the sort of thing would be appropriate, don't you think? Oh, oh, see, every episode, every episode, he says something half-mindedly, although she does have a right to take this one personal because it is indeed personal. Excuse me, can I, uh, can I see a menu? A what? <laughs> You're very quiet. OMG. I'm sorry. Did you lose your V-card? Aren't I supposed to be a man now? A man is just a boy who's old enough to ask that question. Mmm. I hope it was not entirely forgettable for you. <laughs> you think we should be using my fame to hoodwink folks? Yeah, yes. I think I really made a difference in their lives. Me, Jane Cobb. I know your name, jackass. You know <laughs> Is that really him? Wash, pinch me, I must be dreaming. <laughs> oh. But they don't know the magistrate's been tipped off? Clearly they don't. Do you really think we can get this stuff across town without being noticed? Gotta find it first. What if they're gonna cross you? Let's get it dug up. What am I looking at? Dead grass? <laughs> he stole a ton of money Look from at her. her back. She's beautiful. He just has this idiotic sense of nobility, you know? Not Jane. He can never just let things go. She thinks it's Malcolm. You mean you actually know Jane? Jane? Girl, I know! That's what I said. Jane will get back and find out that he's grounded. 
Oh, oh no. A check, please. Friend of the hero discount, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I think you're gonna take him to Jane. Where is that no good reptile? Hide yourself. Oh, I am scared. <laughs> ah! Ooh. We're not done yet, youngin. Oh, and he's gonna get that dirt in that open wound. It's gonna get infected. That's not good. Let's go get our wayward babes. But they still don't know they're landlocked. <laughs> I'm already ready for Jane to get knocked down a few pegs after this episode. And you, well, yeah. you took it. Yeah, you took it and you, and you keep doing it. That didn't sound half bad. It also didn't sound half good either. Well, hey there, Jane. Oh my God, his makeup is so good. You gonna got yourself looking mighty hideous. <laughs> Big words, Jane. Honey. Kaylee? What's well, somebody's got to take care of you, Simon. Four years of lockdown plays tricks on the ear. And on the eyeball, apparently. But I'm tired. Back we used to work together, he and I. Holy shit! He dropped it on the mudders. By, By mistake. Said, you inbred dunghead, he talked. Inbred dunghead. <laughs> this is the plan. What? That man just took a bullet for Jane? <laughs> Holy shit! Right in the chest! Jane! Jane! I don't think he wants the knife that killed his ex-friend. Sometimes you gotta face the truth, Jane. What the hell off with this month, Paul? Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, working on it. Yeah, by the way, landlocked. Magistrate's coming. Anara knows about it. Has there been a problem with takeoff? It's not a problem. Girl, why are you not saying what you know? Oh. oh. We're fine. And now we get to leave? You did what? I said to an override to port control. Look at him! You wanted to make a man out of me, Dad. I guess it worked. In more ways than one, am I right? Jane, how do you live with the guilt of everything that just happened? Just keep walking, preacher man. <laughs> you couldn't beat him back? Or would that not be appropriate? He did hit him with a bottle. I mean, you like me well enough, and we get along, and, and then you go all stiff. And not in the way she wants you to be. <laughs> well, it's the only way I have of showing you that I like you. It's not doing a good job, Simon. We made love last night. When we what? You really are such an easy mark. Oh my God, I really thought, I really thought too. Oh, heavens. <laughs> Why the hell did that mother have to go and do that for him, hell? Jumping in front of that shotgun blast. He believed in you. It's about you, Jane. It's about what they need. And they need hope. You just happen to be their hope. Wow, and this episode's over. Okay, let's talk about it. Um, really happy to have a relatively normal episode without River being weird. Um, well, she was weirded out about the preacher's hair. I don't know if that's gonna come back. You know, you know how she did the chant about the blue hands, you know, whatever, and they wore gloves. And she freaked out about his hair. And I just wonder if it's gonna be revealed I don't know. She could have just been freaking out because it's not her normal, right? Um, whatever. Long story really short. Really glad this wasn't a river heavy episode. Number one. Number two! Jane was really all about it until the truth got out. And that guy really sacrificed his life for him. And then he felt guilty. Then he felt guilty. Also, did they also just, like, we just glazed over the fact that he crushed a dude's head. We saw it happen, and nothing was said about it. 
Let me tell you something. Jane didn't need that kind of hype to go straight to his head. He didn't need another ego trip. So anyways, uh, what I tell you in the intro, I straight up told you that Kaylee and Simon all the time be having a moment and then Simon says something that he didn't realize and then she took it personally, although this time it was directly towards her as a person. So there we go. But then at the end, we find out that they've been flirting and they do like each other. So that's cute. So anyways, all right, on to episode eight. Well, this doesn't look good. Why y'all just floating? Why is the music sad? Did something happen? I don't like it. Did something happen? Well, that doesn't look good. Ed, this is not a promising moment. You pay money for this, sir? <laughs> we get a serenity backstory? Ship like this, be with you to the day you die. You hope. Because it's a death trap. That's not... Oh. <laughs> You never have to be under the heel of nobody ever again. That you hope. So not running now. Not so much. No, no. But you will. Is this gonna be how the story, how we find the whole crew too? Are y'all running out of oxygen? What is happening? I'm confused. Oh, that's blood. I don't think it's oxygen then. Well, I'll tell you what, episode eight so far is vastly in, in a stark difference than episode seven so far. Okay, so we got blood and we got Malcolm on the ground. Where is everybody? <laughs> Are they for real upstairs having a good time laughing, cutting up and Malcolm's just bleeding? <laughs> Jeffrey Book was just telling us funny stories about his life at the monastery. <laughs> I bet there's some stories to tell. Just who do you think you're married to? She saved you food. What should be an 18 hour trip is gonna take us a better part of the week by this route. Oh, that's a big difference. Now you tell us a funny story about being a doctor. Are there funny stories about being a doctor? Yeah, cause sick people are hilarious. <laughs> a companion doesn't kiss and tell. So there is kissing. <laughs> Happy birthday, Simon! How y'all know what day it is in space? Based on solar cycles. It's not applicable. I didn't get you anything. <laughs> I hope you like it. Couldn't get a hold of no flour, so it's mostly protein. Yum! A healthy cake! I'm really, I'm, I'm very, very deeply moved. Okay, well, blow out your candles and cut the cake, please. <laughs> Come on, Doc, give a good blow. I'm sorry, what did she just say? <laughs> oh, oh my God. Also, how did Rib River know that was gonna happen? Is she gonna be okay? I need my med kit. Not this way. Why don't you take her to infirmary then? If you don't let what? me through, she could die. I let you through. We all die. Because the fire's spreading? I don't really know how to contain fire in an... Uh, in space. Oh, I guess you just direct it outside of the ship. Okay. Okay, so this is an episode that's gonna jump back and forth. Got it. Okay, man, I am balls deep in this. Okay, great. Zoe, can you hear me? Come on, sweetheart. Oh, Kaylee, it's not your fault. I already know how she's gonna handle it. It's not your fault. Which is why we need to suss out what it was happened so we can get her going again, right? All of us get going again, Kaylee. Well, you're strong. Strongest person I ever met. You could do this. Is she gonna make it? Please, I need to- Jane, ask that question not in front of her husband. I gotta have you on the bridge. We need to know how bad it is. Oh, this is so stressful. I'm not leaving her side, Mal. Don't ask me again. It is kind of dumb to ask him to leave her. You're gonna get to that bridge, and you're gonna get us back on our feet. No! That's messed up! He can't take five seconds, five minutes to be with his wife. Shouldn't be a problem at all. A few modifications. Not wash with a mustache. Hilarious. Feel around with the dials there. We'll be nearby. Great, Annie. I don't like him. <laughs> 
What about him bothers you? I'm not sure. It's something. Well, the mustache, probably. Genius. No one's ever called me that before. Who are you? Just bothers me. That's not that's not the mechanic I know and love. What is it? Pure adrenaline. Oh, can't watch that! No, thank you! Can't watch that shit! Uh uh not after Pulp Fiction! <laughs> You're gonna do it to yourself? <laughs> Disgusting. Zoe gonna be okay? You let the doctor worry about Zoe. Oh my god, this episode is so stressful. Cause it goes back and forth. I could try. Just, just get us to limping. That's all I need. And then limp to the nearest planet. Right, but we got auxiliary life support. No, we don't. Oh no. Most of that oxygen got ate up by the fire on its way out the door. Oh, so we all die and slowly got it. Couple of hours, maybe. Couple of hours of oxygen, that's it? How is she? OMG, I have an autograph of Anara in that exact dress over there. She won't know it, but as long as her condition remains like this, she'll outlive us all. Yeah, especially since the oxygen's leaving. Imagine waking up and finding everyone dead and then you die weird. I love this ship. I have from the first moment I saw it. Tell me about your first moment, Inara. The human body will... Please, monitor. I don't really require a clinical I, I description. Don't, I don't want to know either. I don't want to know either. I don't need a new fear, please. It was my birthday. Oh, yeah. Well, hey, hey, you know what? We can worry about re-celebrating your birthday if you live to see another day. Until then... Give up on the fact that it's your birthday. Fix the shit. Move on. That's what it says. Don't be afraid. Good for you, River. So you actually read some. But you are afraid. Yes. Faith doesn't mean the absence of fear. That we'll die gasping. But we won't. How do you know that, River? We'll freeze to death first. Oh, okay! <laughs> okay! I'm getting a little weary of this attitude wash. Are you? Well, I'm so very sorry, sir. Mm. Could be that's true. Damn right, it's true. They'd be forced to stop and- I think y'all yelling and fighting is using up more oxygen than necessary. Maybe you should. Okay. Good. Fine. Hey. <laughs> I'm gonna do it then. Fighting at a time like this. That's what I said, Jane. You use up all the air. That's what I said, Jane. I don't like how on the same level me and Jane are in this episode. I don't like that. Supposed to have this engine fixed and us up in the name of- Oh my heavens, who is doing what back there? Mister. Hold on. Hold on, Captain. He's not done. And is there something wrong with your bunk? What? To do your private things in your bunk. Mister. What in the world am I watching? Can't. What do you mean can't? Why? Ain't nothing wrong with your grab boot. Kaylee! Hello. Kaylee! I seen the troubled plane as day when I was down there on my bath before. Shut up. Right here. See? No. <laughs> What'd you do? She Everything she just showed you, my guy. My daddy says I got natural talent. I'll say you do with that. Yeah, you do, girl. You got much experience with a vessel like this? I've never even been up in one before. So how'd you know how to fix it? You offered me a job. I just gotta ask my folks. Okay, fine! What an exciting thing! What do you need two mechanics for? I really don't. So you gotta go, buddy. I cannot be having this from you right now. We got work to do, don't mind. You gotta be strong, girlfriend. It's broke. Come on. Fix it! Engine don't turn, life support won't function. Right, correct. Don't breathe. Yeah. So now you see why she's defeated. <laughs> well, did you get a new one of them? Did she fix it? How are you bleeding? I have so many questions. Well, that sucks. Ain't that, ain't that the worst? Our two shuttles, short range, won't go far. Is that what short range means? 
Long enough to reach someplace? No. Oh, so we're screwed either way. So we still need some doctrine. What about you? So we either die on the big ship or we might die on the small ship. Got it. I'm staying with Serenity. Captain. We sent out a beacon. Even Captain's gotta go down with the ship. Jane will be worth something if you run into trouble, but don't trust him and don't let him take over. <laughs> That's Jane. Nice, ain't she? Smallish. I'm not overly. Okay, Inara, with your midriff. No need to sound so defensive, Captain. So how'd y'all meet? Miles on it. How'd y'all meet? No crew member, including yourself, would be allowed entrance without my express invitation. Okay, girl. Will I be servicing you or anyone who is under your employ? I'll post a sign. And there's the tension. There's the tension. They wanna, but she won't let him. You're gonna rent this shuttle to me. Mm. And for one quarter less than your asking price. Okay, confidence. Why exactly? You want me. Oh. Huh? You want me on your ship. Uh huh. Do I? Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. A certain respectability. I suspect that's something you could use. Oh <gasps> man, she's so sassy, and I love it. What are you running from? I'm not running from anything. Good question. I supported unification. Did you? Oh. Strike one. Well, I don't suppose you're the only whore that did. Oh, him and using that word. That's the last time you get to call me whore. Love her. You never could operate this thing. Y'all gonna kiss? Y'all gonna kiss a little? I'm not leaving Serenity. Just kiss a little bit. Come die with us in a smaller, cramped space. I see you'll have everything tight behind you on your way back up. Might buy you some time. I am so stressed. Well. Bye. <laughs> he didn't even say bye. <laughs> Y'all should have done a little kissy. Y'all should have done a little kissy. And so now he for real just waits <laughs> to see if somebody answers the beacon. Well, none of that's good. None of that is great. He should probably wake up and check that out, I guess. Oh, 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 somebody's trying to talk. Wake up, wake up, somebody answered your beacon, damn it. So the music tells me this is not a rescue ship. The music tells me this is not a rescue ship. It's nothing till you don't got one, and it appears to be everything. True. But now you scan me. You know, I got no life support. And we sure are using up a whole bunch of oxygen just talking when you could just give me that catalytic converter. Ah, fresh air. I bet that was good, but... Well, what the hell, bro? I hate it. You find anybody on board not supposed to be, you shoot him. Literally just hand him the part and then get back on your ship and you know what I mean? That's a joke. Which one you figure attract us? The ugly one, sir. <laughs> Could you be more specific? <laughs> Dirty deceiver. Ah, good words, Jane. Tell us where the stuff's at so I can shoot you. I can't with this guy. 7% straight off the top. Seven. That's not a lot. I'm not good at math, but that's not a high percentage, buddy. You get the perks? Got your own room? Oh, you don't have your own room? You share a bunk. That one. I mean, he's got a really cool mustache, though. We'll see, too. You get your fair share. Ooh. Your own room, full one of the kitchen, whole shot. Jane! Oh! Jane has no loyalty. Catalyze is blown. That's all he needs. All right, now give us the piece and leave. Decide what you think is fair. Already decided. Oh my God! What the hell? We're taking your ship. The ship? Do as he says. <laughs> okay, it's I'm not trying to be dramatic, but they had way better guns than that one handheld. You know what I mean? We can already see I haven't. Now get the hell off my ship. Oh, good for you. You do the same. We can already see I have it. Good for you. 
And that's how we got here. Okay. I am so stressed. And then what happens if the side shuttles like don't have enough gas to get back? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's exciting. Come on, you're so close. Well. Come on, come on, Mal, get up. Did they come back? How'd they know to come back? Welcome back, sir. Hey, Zoe. I go someplace? Very nearly. Yeah, next door to death. Try not to speak. You're heavily medicated and you've lost a lot of blood. Uh, so it seems like Wash is giving you some of his. I thought I ordered you all off the ship. Poor guy, don't remember. The decision saved your life. Won't happen again, sir. <laughs> Zoe. She's done something to it, Mel. It smells funny. I told you, that's incense. So you said. <laughs> I think the doc might not be wrong about that one. Yeah, you need some Just good sleep. Need a few. Y'all gonna be here when I wake up? Oh, stop it. Feed her proper. She'll be with you for the rest of your life. Uh. So hey, what we heard wasn't even son. about serenity. He wanted a totally different one. You hear a word I've been saying? Oh. I never thought I'd get emotional about a ship, but I sure did. Oh, goodness. Let's talk about it. Let me tell you something. These two episodes were very very different from each other. Janestown, episode seven, I could not take seriously because I was like, please, Jane, like, please get it together, Jane. But then episode eight was like real serious. And I love that we kind of got the backstory on everybody, how everybody came to be, except now I want to find out how Zoe and Wash fall in love. I, uh, can we talk about Kaylee? Huh, ma'am, ma'am. You're supposed to be pure. I don't know what that was about, little girl. Anyways, um, this was a fun episode. It got real serious. I wasn't sure what was going to happen. I should have known with it being episode eight and there's 14 episodes that we weren't going to lose the captain, right? I said that really fast. Almost ran out of air. Appropriate for the outro in the episode that I just watched. Anyways, a lot of drama, but everybody's back together. Um... I don't really know where we're headed after this one for episode nine. I'm glad the ship's back together. Well, I guess we got to get Zoe fixed and I guess we got to get the captain fixed because they're both still in the infirmary. I don't know where we're going after this, but I hope we expand more how episode seven, we kind of got a little focus and fun from Simon and Kaylee, like flirty, right? We also got a little bit of flirting backstory and tension concern between Inara and Mal. So I don't know where we're going in episode nine. I guess we're just going to have to wait till next week to find out. So I hope you like, subscribe, stick around. I don't know what's coming up for March, but we do have the Falcon and the Winter Soldier on the way on Friday. And then on Monday, we have Remember the Titans and then Hidden Figures is kicking off March. So that's what we got coming up. Like, subscribe, stick around. Links to social media down below if you want to be my friend outside the YouTube of ours. And I'll see you back here on Friday. Bye.